um, Paul Hutton, you're um, from Smart Highways. Um, you know, they're, they're, presumably, you do you see a benefit in smart motorways? And, and what about this point about being sitting ducks? I completely agree. In fact, one of the things when I first wrote about smart motorways was what Edmund said, which was I thought that the refuge areas needed to be closer together. The issue is we've got a capacity problem and we've got a budget problem. So trying to build our way with more lanes on a motorway would be the ideal thing to do, but there just isn't the budget there for it. So consequently, using technology to monitor the way people are moving along the roads. There are cameras that will see if you've stopped. There are radar to check you've stopped. In theory, and it doesn't always happen, but in theory, then the red X's should go up above the uh, running lanes. People should be warned about the problem, and therefore you should be safe. And there's an awful lot more technology than there would be on a normal, old-fashioned stretch of, uh, of motorway when, if you're on the hard shoulder, you're in a dangerous position, even if you've got that lane to yourself.